Die. Welcome to Dishonored 2. I was about to say Dark Souls. I don't know why we're playing Dishonored 2 as the final mission. Death to the Empress. We're doing... Um, what have we got here? Five runes, one... Outside a shrine, nine bone charms, 2,525 coins. We are 37 short of the total. One painting, two blueprints, and there are the treasures we've accumulated. There's also one boat collectible. Seven special actions, although there's ten in total. However, two of those are available in High Chaos and one of the other ones is Corvo, and one of the High Chaos ones is Corvo. Now there's 231 coins worth of stuff that I could find on the boat, and uh, I think an audiograph, um, and a few notes, and a key, two audiographs. Um, there's the first one, don't miss the blueprint there, that's uh, one of the two blueprints that we'll get. Um, and I think that one's quiet running, um, if I remember rightly, so that one's pretty important. Um, and then uh, go talk to Megan, you'll find out uh, some backstory about her, I won't spoil it for you if you haven't played it. Um, one of the special actions we're going to pick up right now, but it involves assassination, um, it's Avenging Jessamine. Um, and if you kill uh, Megan, um, you can kill her however you like, I'm going to chuck her over the side after choking her out. Get in the scene, Megan. Uh, and then you play through the mission, you'll get... Um, the Avenging Jessamine special action, but that's the only way to get that, and if you're going for Merciful, clean hands, uh, yeah, you're not going to get that, but there it is, Avenging Jessamine, third one down. Um, but we're not going to do that, we're going to reload and carry on, or rather not finish that game up. So have a chat with her, you get to choose what you want to do, um, I'm being nice. Uh, but don't forget to snag her key off her, and you can keep talking to her to find out a bit more background, but ultimately you're not going to see her again. There's two bone charms in there, and an audiograph, and some other bits and pieces as well. Uh, go talk to Sokolov to start the mission off. Um, and uh, I was a bit underwhelmed by this mission, if I'm honest. It's fun and everything, but you can also zoom through it. Like, there's, yeah, not much need, especially if you've already got, um, there we go, 221 coins, and there's 10 left in the kitchen, some angel scales next to the food. Um, what was I saying? A bit underwhelmed. Yeah, you can zoom through it because there's not a lot of loot in the castle witch area. I mean, there is in the castle, but none in the witch area, so you can pretty much avoid all the witches if you can't be bothered with them. But anyway, uh, let's crack on. Uh, oh, there was another special action for searching Megan's um, cabin above the Dreadful Whale. Uh, what's the next one? The rest are all pretty much at the end. Um, don't miss these coins here. And there's a copper wire kicking around up here on the left somewhere. Um, oh yeah, we already got it. There's one there that I just ran past as well, but we'll scoop that up at the end. Don't miss this boat. This has got a lot of Triazior's treasures in it. And you can see there's some Sphelerite and Tibian ore and Whalebone and a thing worth 50 up there and a note uh, talking about... Is the key mentioned there? No, I don't think it is. The key's mentioned in the Black Market. Anyway, when you're done with that, we're going to head around the back of the Black Market. There's some f a few coins and maybe a copper wire. Yep, copper wire. Uh, and some coins on the table, and I knew that I'd missed something around here, I just couldn't quite remember what, and it's that copper wire back at the uh, beginning that I pointed out. Uh, there's a note there that says the key is by some bottles. There's another note somewhere that says it's by um, the Dunwall Courier as well, which is kind of all the clues you need. Um, as long as you've got dark vision, it's pretty obvious. But uh, do your upgrades. Um, if you want to, you should have the money to afford that easily. And then we're going to deal with some dogs. The reason I popped up here at the beginning was just to set the dogs walking, so there aren't four or five of them here. You want to get up high and then sleep darts. There were two sleep darts in the boat up in uh, the kind of bridge area, so make sure you grab those. The rest you can buy from the black market if you want. Um, yeah, but uh, hide those corpses. You actually don't really need to. And then we're just going to head into the area... Not there, but just through here. There's um, copper wire, I think, in there, and a whalebone, um, a whale oil, and a copper wire, and another copper wire, I think, here. Yeah, and then yet one more down there. Um, that's pretty much that for this area, apart from the black market itself. Um, so we're going to head back up and uh, go into the Haller, the Mad Hatter territory. So you want to make your way up here, watch out for the barbed wire, you want to beam over it, and then go through the door this way rather than through the side, it's just easier. You can choke this guy out from behind, and then there's another one in there you can choke out. There's two sleep darts in here, so grab those as well, because you've just shot two dogs to give yourself the full complement of five back. Don't run around, because she'll wake up, so choke her out before she does. Um, and then grab the sleep darts, which are right there. If there's anything else in here, I couldn't 
find it. Uh, oh, whalebone. Ha, huh, lying. Um, down here there's two people wait for them to finish jabbering or domino them or, I don't know, stop time or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, at this point you should have lots of skills and plenty of ways to deal with them. But they'll split up and then chase the girl out, knock her out. Job's a good one. Uh, get rid of the bodies. There's some rats around here which might eat them if you're not careful. Um, I had a dead body. One of them um, disappeared about 10 minutes later, so I had to reload a save uh, and just killed the rats to make sure. Failing that, just leave the bodies up high somewhere where the rats can't get to them. Whale oil, coins, don't miss those. And I think another treasure over here somewhere? Nope. Yeah, there we go, two whale oils. Uh, now down into boils. Um, here you want to go up the stairs, or you can go in underneath, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think the door isn't latched this time. Um, I'm going high because there's a bloke up here counting coins. Don't pick up the coins yet, or at least um, every time I try to pick them up I activate the vice and everyone hears me and it all goes a bit south. Uh, two bathing salts there and there is um, a pearl fan by the mattress on the left, we'll grab that. Wait for these guys to finish chattering and then I'm just going to use sleep darts because we're right by the black market and they're cheap and we've got more money than we know what to do with. Um, you can drop down and just mug that lady if you want, but watch out for smashing the window, it's easy to uh, miss that. Whale oil, silver ingot in there, a few coins as well. Um, through here, uh, there's a coin on a table somewhere I'm sure I found in a previous playthrough, maybe it was that one. Um, but I looked around and I couldn't find it, don't miss that whale oil. Um, nothing really in here, smash that if you want to go through those doors again at any point, then we're going to head upstairs. Uh, there is uh, some treasure over here, I think, yeah, a whale oil and a note on there um, saying that she couldn't open her account. A special allowance has been denied by our financial services. Then through back to where we choked out the first guy uh, and there is a gold ingot maybe, um, certainly an ingot of some kind, and then the pearl fan there by the mattress. And we're pretty much done in here. Um, oh, apart from that silver cigarette box or whatever it was worth 50 on top of there next to the pistol bullet, don't miss those. Uh, then head out. Uh, there's four dogs out here, so uh, be careful. I'm going to take the long way around and head back, black to the black market, back to the black market, because I used all my sleep darts on those terrible, terrible buggers. Watch out for the barbed wire. Um, there's a note in here saying that they're smuggling guns, or weapons, or something, and we'll make loads of money. But I'm full of grenades and pistol ammo and howling bolts and all that good stuff. Now you are going to want um, stinging bolts, so make sure you fill up on those as well. Um, there's a bit at the end if you talk to the statues in the building, at least, which is what I did. Up here, there's some whale oil there, and there's some actually copper wire which I missed, but we'll sweep back for in a second. Now I get all the dogs from here. This is where I get a few bodies seen. Um, I do it in the wrong order and kind of, um, yeah, just I thought he couldn't be seen, but he clearly could be seen by that one. But you're far enough away that they're not going to be that bothered. One of those sleep darts hit the uh, metal pole as well. But just nipping back to the, uh, did I say blacksmith again? Black market to fill up on sleep darts. Never a bad idea when it's that close to have a maximum amount. Um, I had a bit of a run around here looking for treasures down here. Um, I've just got dark vision on just to see if there were any in the pit down here, but there aren't really. Um, then we're going to go up to the Dunwall Courier, and if you saved the dude last time, he'll be there and quite happy. I'm not sure if the money will be here if you didn't save him. Um, there's quite a lot of treasures here. There's a grenade you can see and some food and some pistol ammo. There's some coins on the side there uh, and an ingot in there. And there might be some coins. Did we grab some coins? just by the door on the way in, um, pistol bullets, a couple of whale oils there. Um, and then head out and down, not there, all the way down. Down here there's a fan in this back room there, so grab that too. Uh, not much else, um, yeah, you can smash that up so that you can exit if you like, um, up to you. And then round here, if you didn't choke the civilian out in the um, Ah, here. Now, this is where the key is. See? If you've got dark vision, you'll notice it through the wall there. Um, we're by the Dunwall Courier, and there are some bottles. There we are. Sneaky common key. So that's the key to get into the blacksmiths. Uh, the civilian uh, is there. Um, you can have a chat with him. Um, I don't know if the stuff will be here if you already dealt with him previously, but there's a bunch of whale oil. Um, yeah, there's a few people you can talk to around here. Uh, actually, I'm lying. That's the only two around here. <laughs> uh, still no treasures around here, and I nip back around here just in case I missed anything, but I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, those last 37 are flummoxing me. Now, there's a witch directly above us here, so be careful. We're going to go up around the back this way. Um, there you go. 
and then not here but up one more floor and you can far reach up there and just come up behind her and she's singing a lovely song um, when you first make it into this area quite a haunting melody you can't sleep her dart her from a distance because she'll fall off and die and you'll get a kill which is super annoying two mad hatters here to the right with a little bit of treasure and an outsider shrine for two runes um, I was going to say you don't really need runes at this point but by the time I finished this level I had 12 unspent so I just maxed out doppelganger for the fight with Delilah you'll see at the end um, it's one way of dealing with her um, and you don't get seen either there's a fish thing up there so don't miss that that's worth 50 copper wire or was that jelly deals I don't know but through here you can see if you activate that barometer um, it opens a secret door and behind us come on there we go is the outsider shrine don't even listen to him anymore I just find his like what are you gonna do are you gonna be good or bad what can it be he's shooting some bullets there because I couldn't be bothered like seeing stuff I was trying to find everything so I just wanted no pistol ammo so that all the pistol ammo I found I could pick up Anyway, uh, once you've dealt with them, you can head down here. I thought this was the trap door, but it's not. Um, this one's safe. There's just some whale oil on the right uh, there, and I think a newspaper, maybe? Um, and some rats. Mm, rats. Yeah, there's a newspaper. Over the other side is Galvani's residence. Watch out, this one is trapped, so get an angle on it unless you want to be shot in the face. You can see the trap wires there. Um, but still I managed, I was like yes finally I remembered not to get shot and then go through there and set off another trap somehow, brilliant. Um, anyway, uh, in here there is whale oil, there's a coin right next to that Adamaya solution so I'm just wasting some mana so that I can pick it up and use it so I don't miss that coin of five. And then on the painting, if you took the painting in the previous mission, I, presumably the code is always 451, I don't know, maybe it's just the same as last time. Um, bathing salts, there's a note on the desk, oh no, no, I'm lying, that is the final blueprint. Um, so don't miss that. Now there is some um, copper wire over here, it's quite sneaky, just up there, you may have seen it in dark vision. Um, there, the other side of that light, there. Uh, and there's actually another one just down there that I missed, but we'll snag it in a second. Um, and then we're going to go up and grab a bone charm, go up to the old secret passage, uh, but that's not quite the way. Um, maybe there's a treasure up there that I missed, who knows. Um, nothing down there of any note. Nope, yeah, just some rats. Uh, and then we're going to yeah head up this way to where the um, there's a Tivian ore here or something or a lucky spellerite. Uh, up to where we came out from the tower, the very first mission. There's a witch up here who on one of my playthroughs was alive and well and kind of a pain in the bum. I wasn't expecting her there at all and she spotted me and then called all her friends and it just turned into a bit of a nightmare. Uh, oh, there's a special action up here as well. Um, what's it called it is called in the coven's wake uh copper wire there but yeah you can see that witch was dead don't know why but you're going to want to hide her body regardless because a couple more witches are going to ar uh, arrive don't miss that bone charm not much else to see or do except to go to the speaker just outside oh there's a note there saying that the passage has been sealed off and a dead body at the end with not much on it uh but use that uh, make an announcement over the speakers there's a special action um, and at the end of this, unlike in the previous mission, which apparently had no effect whatsoever when you made the announcement, uh, two witches will beam in, so get away from them, and I'm just going to use sleep darts on them because we've got spares and we're going to get back to the black market before the day is out. They've come down here, uh, this is why we hid the body, because um, otherwise they'll go nuts uh, and split up and just become generally erratic, otherwise they'll walk down here, so just sleep dart one in the back and then the other, boom, done. Um, then make your way back down. We're going to go past the Mad Hatter's place this way, um, around here, and then all the way back to the Black Market, um, just sweeping for coins on the way. I kind of take the long way around just for a final sweep of this area, and as it turns out, it was a wise idea because there's the copper wire that I forgot earlier. Anyway, all the way around here, that civilian who was in the black market earlier is now standing out there. She seems to be the only living person back here. Now I open this and note I grab the whale oil on the left um, and then go all the way up to the black market thinking, oh no, don't want to rob it yet because I want to fill back up on sleep darts and use that uh, blueprint to maximize my grenade damage only because we're going to go fish hunting in a bit. Uh, but fill back up on sleep darts and make sure you've got some stinging darts. You can buy the rune and a key if you want, but now we're about to rob it, so why bother? Um, 
So there is uh, some withered ryegrass there worth 20 coins, and here's where I'm like, well, I thought there was whale oil down here, having completely forgotten that I just picked it up. So that's why I'm running around like a lunatic at this point. Anyway, when you're done running around like a lunatic, head up here, choke the poor uh, blacksmith, blacksmith, black market lady out. Keep doing that. Um, there's some treasure in the back here, but not much, just some whale oil, really. Um, some pistol ammo, uh, and then obviously all the regular treasures. Grab the rune and the key. Um, and anything else you might want, um, undo the latch and we're out. Oh, don't miss that fan. Yeah, there we go. Nearly missed it. Uh, now we're just going to head more or less straight for the exit via the armory after one final sweep to get the copper wire up there, which I forgot about. <laughs> Lucky I went up there. Um, open that door and we are definitely going all the way to the armory now. Uh, up here you'll see, uh, once we get inside, that's what the key unlocked. There's some crossbow bolts there, there's some coins kicking around uh, there. There's maybe a copper wire or two, some whalebone, whale oil, uh, coins, there's a note, um, the pistol bullets. I think the copper wire there, we can see it's outside there. That was some whale oil next to that as well. Um, now you can exit through here. Uh, there's a door there which takes you to the canal, but we'll loop back um, that way just because actually this way is a little more interesting. At this point I had 1933 coins. Um, I think that if there are more coins to be found they're going to be in this area, to be honest. Um, unless I completely missed something around here. Um, but there is an overseer you can talk to here who's dying with a note next to him with the orders. Uh, he's, you can chat him out. Um, Heretics fighting heretics. Outrageous. There's some health there, and then head into here, activate the whale oil container to get an empty one out, fill it in there, pull the lever uh, to fill it up. And there's another note there talking about guard duty. Weaver, that's it, mate. We talked about it last night. Me and my Jilly are heading out. Um, Adamaya solution, newspaper, whalebone, all that good stuff. Whack that in there, push the button, that'll open the gate. Watch out for the three trees the other side of this. Don't use crossbow bolts on them like I did. Um, that's a really phenomenally bad idea, use incendiary bolts. Um, because now I've used nine crossbow bolts trying to kill these things and we actually need all our crossbow bolts for the dogs. Um, because the dogs are a goddamn nightmare. Uh, there we go, I just they, I felt like they'd alerted me so I was just checking my stats to make sure I hadn't missed anything. But yeah, I feel like there's coins somewhere. Anyway, if you go through the canal exit from the armory, this is where you'll come up. Um, and there might be some coins down here. I had a pretty good sweep. I swam around on a previous save, more or less everywhere, with Dark Vision active until I couldn't get any further. And the fish will chase you, and then you can just grenade them. And that's the only reason I upgraded Grenade Radius. Uh, went all the way over here, had a look for some coins, didn't really find anything. I say didn't really find anything, didn't, just didn't find anything. Um, but thought I'd do some fish hunting. Didn't kill them all, but still. Um, then under here I thought there might be a naughty coin lurking around somewhere, but no, nada, nothing. So really there's no benefit to taking the uh, canal exit, except that um, I guess you don't have to deal with the whale oil button thing, but then you miss out on talking to a dying overseer. Anyway, crossbow time uh, and stun mine. Put a stun mine there, then we're going to head back up here, shoot these dog skulls so that they don't wake up. It won't count as kills. Those three witches over there will hear you. They'll come running, and guess what? <laughs> and but I think you know they saw some bodies such as life um, but now I'm just hiding the bodies back up here just in case anyone sees them because we are going to set some more witches off in a bit um, the funny thing is the uh, conservatory room where the four of them are chanting in here this took me I came up with so many creative ways to do this and then it occurred to me maybe I can just go in and mug them out one by one now on a previous playthrough there have been two witches here but that was also a playthrough on the outside but that was also a playthrough where I didn't use the microphone so I think if you use the microphone two witches from this area go up to the tower so actually it's beneficial in that respect because there's less here but in here you can just go out choke the one on the left um, just keep uh, this side. Make sure they're talking, make sure they're singing 642 as you go down um, and do it this way. Then sleep dart that one because when you get close, she teleports away otherwise and can see all the bodies and generally becomes a nightmare. There's a bone charm in there, so don't miss that. And there's a like health potion and an Adamaya solution as well. Um, there's the Adamaya and the health potion is over to the left somewhere, I think directly behind us, and a note talking about what they're up to. But yeah, you can just walk in and muggle them or sleep dart them if you want. We don't really need, I think we need one, maybe two more sleep darts. And to be honest, I don't. we don't really even need them. Um, I just use them for comfort rather than anything else. Now, up over this tree, we're going to clear out the main courtyard before we clear out the two women with the dog 
by the fire. There's a dog here, so get your crossbow out, shoot him, and then make sure you shoot the skull afterwards. Again, it won't count as a kill. And then go under the bridge here. You may remember possessing a fish in there as Corvo in uh, Dishonored 1. Um, and then when the lady who's walking back and forward has gone, the witch, uh, you can choke this one out, um, put her body just up here somewhere safe so it doesn't get seen. And then um, we're going to go around here, uh, wait for the woman to go quite deep here and you can choke her out without too much trouble, the dog won't see you from there. But for the final one who's in the courtyard, just make sure the dog uh, isn't around anywhere. You'll see him walking in a square around the fire. Uh, there he is there. So wait till he's turned his head and is out of line of sight and then you can choke this third one out. Which then makes those other two much, much easier to deal with. Um, we're going to go back over the tree and then round here and up onto the top of the um, greenhouse area where they were making potions. Uh, safe before you do this, it's a little bit risky. Really, you want the dog to be on the far side of the fire, but these two will go and investigate the corpse and you can pretty much just go up behind and choke them. You may get a bit unlucky and the one in the front might turn around, but just reload and do it again. You should be fine. Um, if you shoot the dog further away, you'll have a bit more room to play. There's also an overseer's mask which flashes red there in dark vision. Don't know why, you can't really interact with it. But we're going to go up uh, to Jessamine's place where she got assassinated. Did she get assassinated in the first one? I can't even remember. But naughty, uh, what's her name, Delilah's written terrible things about Jessamine, the bitch. Um, now there's some witches down here having a chat. They're the ones who created the Greyhounds, interestingly. There's three here, so shoot them from a distance. And you should be able to rescue at least some of those crossbow bolts. Um, there's a painting over there along with two more crossbow bolts in a pot. So snag those while the witches finish talking and go on their patrol. Um, and then we're going to head back up to Jessamine's tower area thing here, up these pipes. And then get noticed by the dog. Um, that's the easiest way to do this bit, I think. Um, not here, but if you get on the sofa there and stand up, wait till the dog just notices you, then back down. And you want to get on top of this tower, you might have to stand on top of one of the pillars, but get up there. The dog will come up and investigate. Here he comes now. And just use crossbow bolts to knock him out. In this fashion. There we are. Uh, go and rescue your crossbow bolts. There we are, one and two. Um, and you can see if I'd had nine more instead of wasting them all against those trees, I wouldn't have to be scavenging for bolts at this point. Now this bit's a bit cheeky. Um, if you've got Silent Weave, you can pretty much run up and do running knocks on these guys um, because they're not going to see you. And same again on this one because you've got a straight line to her. Um, make sure you've got enough speed when you approach. This one's a little tougher. I tried it on her, but it failed just because of the angle. Um, and then I kicked her over the side and she died, which wasn't great. Now here, this is quite funny. If you drop kill this one woman, she'll drop into the fire and it'll count as a kill. If you just drop behind her, she'll freak out, turn around and set fire to herself, which uh, won't count as a kill, which is nice. Um, silly witch. Uh, failing that, yeah, like it's actually quite tough to get her. Um, so if you're having trouble, just far reach down quietly behind her and sneak up. Over here, there's another dog to shoot, so snag him. Um, maybe look for the crossbow bolt as well. Then we're going to head up here and grab a bone charm. So head around the side of this building. Careful, there's two witches here and they're having a chat, so don't knock the one out immediately. That seems like a really obvious shout. Wait till they finish chatting. Uh, then you can drop down, knock her out, flip around, get the other one who's leaning here. There we go. Um, and she's the only witch with anything on her and she's got a note. Uh, so ditch her body. Uh, there's a couple of jelly deals there and a bone charm right behind you. So snag that. Now we're going to grab another rune. So head your way. Head your way. Make your way all the way back to um, this main area. There's a uh, whale bone on the way. So head up here. There we go. There's the whale bone. Um, although at this point you probably don't need it. Now up and around here uh, to this side room, the pump room. Um, you may remember this. There was a dude in it in Dishonored 1. There's a woman there. If you walk up to her, she'll see you. So just far reach or blink behind her. Open this door. Now you can wait for these two to finish chatting. And in fact, you need to wait for them to finish chatting anyway because they're facing each other. And if you domino drop kill them, one of them will see you when you uh, get them. Um, so really, I should have just you know blown sleep darts on them or whatever. But yeah. Um, when they finish doing their thing, um, you can either sneak in from the door and just choke that one out and then get up behind the other one. Um, who won't see you doing any of that. And then drop down that gap there uh, to get an Adamaya solution, a book, and a rune. Now back up through the little gap. Nothing else in here. I really wanted there to be a copper wire or at least something in here. But no, nothing. Sad times. 
Um, now up and around, we're going to go in through the bottom to snag 15 coins. I was just doing another final sweep here to see if there were any treasures lying in here. I didn't find any. Maybe there's a rogue coin somewhere that I missed. But through here, you'll see a body with a pistol next to it. And then you can activate the pipe there to go into the tower underneath. This will take you into a room by the elevator. Climb up this chain, turn around. There's three coins, uh, some jelly deals and a rewire tool. Um, and check your coins. I had 2148 at this point. We've got a gold ingot, two things worth 50, and like a room with about 100 stuff in it. Um, and then another 15 coins up in the tower. There's two witches here having a bit of a gabble, and if you let them talk it out, uh, she'll give you a mission clue which talks about something mysterious in the Overseer Chapel that's important to her it might be worth investigating. So we'll check that out, and that's the non lethal option. Um, what else? Yeah, wait for them to finish jibber-jabbering. Um, there's two bone charms on the overseer's body in the main room. These two just stand there like that, so as long as you're quick, uh, although I haven't ever seen that one by the fire turn around, um, I'm just trying to get my heart achievement as well, um, like using hearts on some of these. So apologies for the delays. Some rotten figs and pears there. Mm, yummy rotten pears. Uh, and then into the main room. Um, I'm just eating all the food so that it doesn't show up in dark vision. Uh, there's a dude there, a skull dude there, so shoot the skull before you get too close, otherwise he's going to wake up very sneaky, but grab both bone charms. I was curious what that one was. I hadn't seen lightweight before, um, but it's just uh, less damage when falling. Head into the basement. There's a dead maid there and some rats. And then into here, there's uh, two witches directly above you. One dropped something at you there, but I didn't really see what it was. It sort of disappeared. Wait for them to be on their merry way and then you're going to far reach up uh, and onto the pipes in the room there and again you can skip all this like literally the only reason i'm doing it is because i know some of you want to be able to clear places out so i'm just showing you how but you can just make a beeline straight for the secret room at this point on the top floor um, you'll miss out on a few coins but not that many um actually you can probably go straight to corvo's room without any trouble as well uh, but when you've dealt with those two, um, there's a carrot and a fig in there. There's a, some boards there which leads back down to the basement where the dead maid was. Uh, then we're going to go through here into the kitchen. and uh, There's like a grenade in here, I think. Come up here. We're going to use a spring razor around here um, for the clockwork soldier. So wait till he goes around the corner and the witches admire him and talk about being able to make one from bones. Get back up on the pipe. Uh, the witches won't see him as long as you put the spring razor deep enough and when he goes around the corner he'll get detonated by the spring razor. Back into the kitchen, grab a bottle of anything, doesn't really matter what. Back up onto the pipes outside there um, and then just chuck it through the kitchen door. One of the witches will hear it, she'll go in and investigate. Uh, maybe save before this, it's up to you. And as soon as she goes deep, get in behind her and choke her out so her friend can't see her. And then I use a sleep dart on the other one just because she's leaning against the wall and it's kind of tricky to get a drop knock on her. Um, from where you are, so a sleep dart is the better option if you have one spare. Um, otherwise, hide the body and make another noise with a broken bottle. Health potion there if you want it. Um, and yeah, crossbow bolts. Uh, don't miss those. Grenade, because we use them all fishing. Um, and then the security room is here, but we're not going to use the security room because all it does is um, rejig all the witches' positions and add two more to the mix. Um, there is a rune down here to grab, though, so we'll snag that. But I didn't find any treasures down here, which surprised me. I would think the security room would have one. Um, now up and out and through here, there's the next bone charm. In here there's a dead lady uh, and Delilah's invited her to reward her for her the speed at which she changes allegiance. Uh, another spring razor here, so whack it there, smash that um, chair with your knife. The clockwork soldier will come around and blow up. Make sure you're not looking at him. There's another plaque. If you get three plaques, um, you get an achievement if you didn't pick that up in the Clockwork Mansion. Grab a bottle here, swing around the side, um, that's the wrong place to throw it, fortunately there are two. Chuck it in the corner of that and one of the witches will come from behind, not that way, but the other way there to investigate. She'll shut the door behind her, you might want to save before this because sometimes all three just run around with a Clockwork Soldier. So you need to position exactly where you throw that bottle. But by then the other one should have come investigating here, you should be able to uh, just drop in as soon as she turns around. There we go. And choke her out. Um, and the other one will be bored over by the Clockwork Soldier with a bit of luck because glass doesn't tend to make too much noise. Um, you can't quite see her there, so we're going to go around the long way this way. Uh, there she is, there. So you want to far reach in behind her, um, choke her out. The Clockwork Soldier shouldn't be able to see you from where he is. And um, then go around here, grab another Spring Razor, peep in front of the Clockwork Soldier, there. Um, and then get out of his line of sight. He should die quite happily. 
and you can grab, there we go, just make sure you haven't got any alerts, and you should be able to grab the plaque, which is the three plaques that you need for the achievement. All there is in here, I think there's an Adamai solution on the table maybe, but otherwise a lot of food. Watch out for the witch in here. Um, as long as you've been relatively quiet, she won't have come to investigate. You can just leave her here. Uh, there's a whale bone in there as well if you want it, but at this point I can't be bothered to craft any bone charms. It just doesn't really seem worth it. Um, now through, this is back into the area that we climbed up the pipe in and we're pretty much done with this floor. So head upstairs, um, save here. You want to come up this way to the left. Make sure you're far to the left, otherwise the witch in the corner, the other corner, will see you. Uh, drop a spring, a spring razor there. Um, and the clockwork soldier should die. There's another statue you can talk to there, then head up to this gap. There's a civilian down here you can talk to, and he's got many, 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 many treasures in here. I'm leaving him with his pistol, but I'm taking his jelly deals. <laughs> jelly deals. Uh, there you go, you can have a little chat with him. He's locked himself in. But whale oil, bone charm, coins, uh, sphalerite, um, and there's a fan and some bathing salts over there, so grab those too. Although, but yeah, at this point, there's no need for the money beyond a slight. OCD uh, desperation. Now there's two witches over here who even if you let them talk it out don't really ever move so they're a bit of a problem and at this point I was like what did I do here last time? That's right I got a bottle. Did I get a bottle from in here? No I didn't get a bottle from in here. I got a bottle from the chapel. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. This is where you build a corrupt rune to put on Delilah's throne. If you listen to the audiograph and read that note it tells you what to do and all the ingredients are in here. So grab the dried algae the, 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 I don't know, the dust stuff. Put it all on that table and the bone to the right. That will make a corrupt room, which we can grab in a second. I'm just having a final sweep for any treasures that I may have missed. Grab the corrupt room and grab a bottle. Um, you'll need to go up onto there and then up to the far side that way and then come around here. Save before you do this just in case anything goes wrong. But get on top of one of these uh, things. Throw the glass, which will come to investigate. Drop knock her out. Um, put her body... are we putting... no, we're not putting her body anywhere. Alright, fair enough. Um, then drop knock this one out, uh, or just drop behind her very skillfully and uh, choke her out if you prefer. Then grab this one to stick to the right hand wall and it shouldn't be a problem. Alternately you can far reach behind her. Then we're going to put all three bodies in the statue room here. Um, just because we're going to cause a bit of a ruckus in the next room with the Royal Protector. Uh, what else have I got for you? Okay, yeah, so um, head... Oh, yeah, we're just going to clear out the corridor. Um, pop around here, and that dog, just let him go a little bit red. Then he'll come down here, get ready with your final few crossbow bolts. There, shoot once. Um, he nearly saw me, but it's fine. And then shoot the corpse. Uh, head up here, look for... You're going to need two more arrows. Um, there's one there, thankfully. But again, if you haven't shot the trees with... Um, Regular bolts, you'll be fine. Shoot that one before he sees you, and then there's a witch down here. Get up on uh, the mantelpiece. There we go, and then drop knock her out. And then there's one more in this room with Mary Kate's diary. So presumably this is Mary Kate, along with an Adamai solution, a health pack, and a bone charm. Um, there's the bone charm, there's the diary, and there's the Adamai and the health. Yay. Um... Oh, I thought that was a withered ryegrass, but it's not, is it? It's just the witch's sword. I was about to kick myself for missing 20 obvious coins. Um, anyway, now uh, we're just going to hide these bodies. Flip that barometer. Again, you may remember this from Dishonored One. Um, this is where I hid from overseers, as I recall. There's 50 coins in the form of a chart there, and we'll come back to that door in a minute. Um, there's 50 more coins in Corvo's apartment, which is yet another special action. Um, visit the chambers of the Royal Protector, managed to fall down there spectacularly, and I'm like, how can I get back up? Oh, I could just use the stairs, couldn't I? Audiograph in here, uh, Mary Kate and Ashley are having a chat about what an audiograph is. Are you from the sticks? And I actually stopped uh, and just played it there, which is why you saw a bit of a bump. Um, now, save before you do this bit. There's 50 coins on the table there, um, and some health and an Adamaya solution. Um, there's some bread stuck in a wall down there as well, which is super annoying. Uh, now, aim for the pillar, just or the bit of wood there, just to the right of the painting, and two witches in there will hear you. Run through the fire, don't go to the left of it, or that one there will see you. Wait for the first one to go through the door, she'll shut them behind her, then turn around. At which point the other one will go to kick the door open and choke her out. The first witch will carry on through to Corvo's room um, and investigate the glass, leaving you free to choke out the one who didn't hear the glass at all. Now go through. This one's a bit of a Benny Hill dance of mystery, so you just want to make sure. Uh, you might want to save after doing those two because it's just a bit tedious. But um, she'll be around somewhere. 
don't just burst in through the door because you might look at you what you can do is go around into this room and through this passageway where there's a picture of mummy and daddy and then oh god she's coming to investigate oh god oh god i need to get out and then she turned around um but yeah just you work out how to choke out that last one at some point she'll be looking away from you so you can just get her Carefully you don't drop her on the fire though. Uh, now there's two through here. Um, hide these two bodies because we're going to bring one in here with a bottle. Uh, just put them behind this bar. It's absolutely fine. Grab a bottle, get up on the candelabra. Um, the can I don't mean candelabra, I mean chandelier. And chuck a bottle down there. One of the witches will come through and have a look after kicking the door open. You can just jump onto her. Even though it doesn't look like you can make it, you can drop knock her out. And then come around this way out into the main open chamber again up here. And you can just sneak up on this one and choke her out. Um, then we're pretty much clear. Two, three, five, five coins at this point. 44 people knocked out. No one spotted and no one killed. Um, and so you can just make your way to Jessamine's secret room to get out. It's down here. Uh, use the key on the door there and you'll get out. Now, before you go, you might want a quick sweep. There's the picture of Mummy and there's the picture of Daddy. That's in the little passageway we went through just now. And then if you go down, um, there's a little like side room here with some kind of cool graffiti on the walls. Um, ratus ratus and uh, like a skull and crossbones thing or just a skull actually um, but that's about it I couldn't find any other treasures in there now when you get up there the first time I went up there I didn't even notice the lock there's uh, 20 coins and another 150 in the form of a gold ingot and there is the final collectible Mrs. Pilsen and she's actually there in mission one you just can't interact with her now go into the throne room if you spoke to any of Delilah's statues she'll be sitting in her throne and there'll be three dogs there if you didn't talk to her the dogs will be upstairs and you'll have to dodge and kill them quietly instead use stinging bolts on the dogs um, and they'll just all run away back to their original positions, um, leaving Delilah free. If you don't deal with the dogs, uh, Delilah will, you'll get one spotted by one person when you interact with Delilah using the heart. Now, uh, use the corrupt rune which you picked up from the chapel, and made in the chapel in fact, on the throne here. And then we're going to head into Delilah's room. And I'll show you three whale, three whales, three ways to deal with her. There's an optional objective to take out all her fakes, but that's only for the non-lethal, uh, only for the lethal version. Um, so for the non-lethal version, the quickest, most efficient way is just, well, although you wouldn't know it from this attempt to get up there, is to come up the side and round the back here. And the real Delilah is up here overseeing everything. Um, so you can just come up behind her and choke her out. Make sure you walk backwards as you choke her out because the moment you choke her out all her clones will look up at her and if you're standing near the edge you'll get spotted by them all. So you'll go from zero to six spots. Um, as it is they will then disappear and you can just far reach your way down there um, and get out and those weird trees won't come. If for some reason you do want to take out all the clones this is one way of doing it. Um, you can assassinate them as well. It won't count as kills um, because they're not real. Uh, they're replicas. Uh, but there's the first one to the left as you come in, the next one's up here to the right. This is the order you need to do them in, otherwise you're going to get spotted. Um, and then down here, head over this way, there's one up here. You need to be a little bit careful, so maybe save before you get this one, because if you don't position yourself behind the statues, the one more or less opposite can see you choke her out. Um, that one there. But then you want to let her see you, uh, and then far reach your way up here. She'll come running around, and then you can just get behind her there uh, and choke her out that way. Um, or again you can just kill them right it doesn't really matter um, and then uh, this one here the one on the throne won't see you and then the one on the throne put a crossbow in her face or shoot her with a pistol or uh, I don't have any crossbow bolts left uh, so I went with a stun mine just put it behind uh, the throne and um, if you want to deal with Delilah hide behind the throne and then when Delilah teleports down just whack that tree with your sword she'll go oh, see the body run over and the stun mine will get her which is quite fun or you can just get up behind her choke her out but watch out you see the tree up there that's now appeared there's a few of them around um, so use a incendiary bolt on that and you'll be free to go through um, you can also use doppelganger I bought Doppelganger for the first time. In many ways, I wish I'd bought it earlier, although it's obviously a properly high uh, chaos version. Um, but you can just put uh, replica against replica. So send like a Doppelganger here, and they, they're they actually pretty awesome. Uh, she'll go in and take her out, and then you can just send a couple down there. And it doesn't matter if the Doppelgangers get seen, and presumably at this point, you've got more Adamaya potions than you know what to do with. So if your Doppelgangers happen to die, you can just keep sending them in. Um, yeah. See? Brilliant. Uh, there's one more over the far side who won't have seen any of these shenanigans. Uh, she's up there and she's been alerted because your doppelgangers have like set her off, but you can just um, put them there and she's going to be too busy 
with her stuff. Now uh, Delilah comes down and I'm like, oh, maybe I can let the doppelgangers deal with her and they'll choke her out. No, they're not going to choke her out, they're going to kill her. And that will be uh, an assassination, so make sure you don't uh, let them kill her. But you can see, spotted by enemies, zero. So you can let your doppelgangers do the work on her replicas if you want. Just make sure they're gone by the time Delilah comes back. Anyway, uh, if you want the non-lethal option, um, dump Delilah in the throne after putting the corrupt rune on the throne. You've just got time to grab her... Um, what do you call it? Um, di uh, diary. And she'll go into the painting and be locked in there, leaving you... Uh, free as long as you're on a low uh, low doodad playthrough um, at this point sorry I saved so you'll see the stuff on the top right go and I did the doppelganger stuff um, but you can interact with Corvo Sit down. I'll explain it all. Now, if you're on a High Chaos playthrough, uh, you get uh, the option to leave him as a statue, or if you're Corvo, to leave Emily as a statue, and that's two of the special actions we didn't get. If you finish with Corvo on Low Chaos, that's the other special action we didn't get. But we got five runes, one outside a shrine, nine bone charms, 2,525 coins, 37 short, I think if my maths is right, one painting, and two blueprints. And then Captain's Quarters, World as it should be, Heart of the Tower, Saving Your Father, Black Market Heist, In the Coven's Wake and um, Jessamine's revenge or whatever it was for taking out Megan which we saw at the beginning but here is the low chaos ending and so a man born with the face of the duke took his seat in Karnaka ruling with empathy for those not born in a palace the people were surprised by this sudden turn but did not question their good fortune in Dunwall Without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atano by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurtling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. Ooh, is it Dowd? I think it's Dowd, isn't it? Um, but that's it. That's our Low Chaos Ghost Merciful playthrough. If you've been playing along with me, you should have picked up Clean Hands and Shadow as a result of that, along with uh, collectibles and finishing as Emily and a bunch of other stuff. Probably going to do a uh, Flesh and Steel playthrough um, for now with Corvo um, on Very Hard, most likely, and then uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But on the left, the previous mission. On the right, there's the credits. That will link to something else. Click the eye on the top right for more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.